Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about different types of controls using PCR reaction. Why do we need controls for PCR? As we know that PCR is a highly error and contamination prone technique. So to ensure the accuracy, reliability and reproducibility of the PCR reaction, we have to include different types of controls in the PCR. What are controls? Controls are some preset parameters using which we will be able to interpret our PCR results. PCR controls are used to validate the performance of the test, to validate the results of the test and to evaluate reasons for false or negative results. It will also help to troubleshoot the issue and it will also give a score to optimize other PCR reactions. What are the different types of control? Blank or no template control, positive control, negative control. These three types of controls we use regularly in molecular lab. There are other types of controls. It can also be used based on your type of PCR reaction which you are using. They are standard controls, template controls and reaction controls. So let us talk about blank or no template control. It contains all the reagents that is your uh, PCR master mix, but we will not be adding a DNA template in this. This control is used particularly to check for the contamination or false positive results. Instead of template DNA, we will be adding nucleus free water. Why nucleus free? To avoid degradation of our nucleic acids. So, when you add nucleus free water, if there is no amplification, that means the, there is no contamination in the water. We can also add PCR enhancer again to check uh, for the purity of enhancers. So basically blank or no template control is used to check for any uh, contamination in your PCR setup. Negative control Again, it will have the master mix and DNA template, but without the target of interest. It is used basically to uh, check for the specificity of your PCR reaction. That means to differentiate true negative from false negative. Negative control can also be used to check for the presence of primer, self dimers, or homodimers. Positive control, again it contains the master mix and DNA template with the target of interest. It is used to check for the sensitivity of your PCR reaction, that means to differentiate true positives from false positives. It will also ensure that there are no PCR inhibitors in your reaction uh, setup. The last one being internal control. It is also known as internal positive control or internal amplification control. It is reaction independent control. So, in this, we add uh, the primers which are different from our target of interest, but we use uh, similar annealing temperatures, similar reaction conditions, and and the same ingredients we add in the internal control. Except for the primer, remaining all things uh, will be similar to that of a uh, positive control. So, internal control is of two types, exogenous and endogenous. Endogenous internal control uh, are typically your housekeeping genes. Like for example, we use ABL as housekeeping genes for a DCR, UPL, PCR. So, housekeeping gene is a constitutively expressed gene which serves basal cell function and they are 
independent of the type of tissue which you are using for your assay it is there in all cells of the body so you can take any uh, type of tissue for your pcr reaction so it is uh, independent of your tissue type which you are using and there are other housekeeping genes as well so the commonly used uh, in hematology lab is your abl exogenous controls are uh, directly added to the raw sample or to the isolated nucleic acid before setting up your pcr reaction and the exogenous control will be a target from different species it, it may not be uh, from human it may be from other species as well it is mainly used for absolute quantification and also for the control of uh, relative amplification from a set of specific primers exogenous controls can also be used to discriminate between negative samples and the samples with pcr inhibition synthetic non competitive exogenous controls are generally used for the detection of microbial organisms thank you